In my opinion, if you're doing this with your kids, um, the Chick Cozy is the way to go. They have the cool candling thing, the calendar that they can keep track of things. But our main goal of this is to get rid of raising these birds. You can see all they're doing is just so huddling So today around. is our day seven of collecting. So I am going to write a seven. Oh. This is nice since we're doing different batches. Um, we might add a few eggs in after we start this, like the next two days. Um, it does hold, I believe, 25. More of the instructions. we have I don't think we've done this in the past, but it says to set the eggs in. Narrow side down. All right, so we will leave these set at room temperature upside down for a few hours. All right, guys, we have let the eggs sit for a few hours. So we are gonna start it and fill this with water. Before we turn it on, we are going to fit this hopefully thermometer in there. We are actually hatching a day early. All right, so we hatched all the birds out of the cozy coop. We got it right down here. Um, Amber went through and cleaned it up. How, uh, how hard was it to clean up? It was so easy. This is the bottom. This tray pulls completely out that you store your water in and the eggshells got caught in. So easy to clean. And then this is the mat that sat on here which came out and I even could spray this a little bit. I made sure not to get any water in the cracks here, but I just lightly sprayed and wiped this out. And as I said before, I really liked that the baskets all came out too. So everything was very easy to clean. So there was the little feathers that were all in here. So I just sprayed this um, to get most of those out. So the only thing I didn't spray was this and I just wiped it out. But if you get really, really close, you can still see there's just like tiny, tiny little bit of residue from those like little bit of feathers when they- We might take some disinfectant wipe or something and just kind of go through it. But to get to what you guys are looking for, the hatch rate. Um, so again, to recap, we have five American breast hens and one rooster and a Siskovich chicken tractor. And uh, we collected eggs every day. I think we had 13 days to get so. 25 eggs. The last few days we put them in there after all that initial batch, I think of 11 days were uh, incubating. So some did hatch a few days later, but overall we messed up on one. I was candling and I kind of dropped it and it was only a few days away. I probably shouldn't have been candling it. So we lost that one. Two of them were, I don't think not fertilized developed. or not developed. There was, they were clear the whole time. Otherwise we had, so if we wouldn't have messed up on that one, we would have had 23 out of 25 birds hatch. Um, so overall, I would give this little cozy coop uh, an A plus. I mean, for $130, that's a pretty nice incubator. We're gonna walk out to, it's actually our, our neighbor, Daniel and Carrie's property. They are so kind to let us plant some oats and just kind of run our chicken tractors on there. We're gonna give them a couple of chickens and uh, we're getting turkeys in a month. So um, we'll show you what we got out here. Well, you, again, collecting eggs later in the day when it was cooler on some of the nights, we definitely collected you know, at the last minute to make sure there wasn't any eggs sitting in there that, uh, you know, would have been viable. And uh, so tried minimizing any, any issues that way. I don't know if anyone's an expert on breast, but definitely a nice looking bird. I mean, he's nice and wide in the chest. I haven't weighed or done any measurements. Goal of this is to get rid of raising these birds. The Cornish cross, yeah, they grow great. 
eight weeks old, you butcher them, but uh, oh man, are they messy. And uh, they don't really pasture all that well. You can see all they're doing is just huddling around the food. We got uh, automatic water in the back, but uh, we, we've had problems with mink in the past. We have that trap out and that trap out, hoping to, hoping to stop them. But, um, and then what we have in here is our egg layers. I don't really care for the salatins myself. They're very heavy. You can't really see what's going on. You can't really get in there at all unless uh, you got a, a five-year-old or an eight-year-old to run in there. Um, not the best for, for having egg layers, but we're gonna come up with some sort of netting system and a little uh, movable wheel for our main egg layers. Cause next year, instead of these five breasts, we wanna have 13, 14, 15 that we can then save eggs a lot faster. Um, hatch eggs maybe a little earlier in the year and uh, maybe we'll butcher some a little bit smaller, but uh, I don't, again, at the Barato, it was like $470, I think, for that incubator. Yes, it's a lot. But if you look at those Cornish Cross at $2 a bird and we bought 30 of them, you start adding that up year after year. For us, it was, it was justifiable anyway, um, especially a little bigger incubator just to make sure, all right, we had something that's gonna work for us. Uh, but if you're looking for a low cost, really reliable, Cozy Coop is uh, definitely, definitely the incubator uh, to get for $130. Man, the eggs hatched really well. Just keep an eye on the humidity and, and keep your water in there and everything uh, everything worked out well. Yeah, I really liked that one. So, and it's little. Yeah. It actually fit on our kitchen table. Yeah. And we got to see the whole process. When they started hatching, we got to watch them. And yeah, it's been it fun, cool. fun for the kids as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is uh, where we're at. You can see some of the area that they've uh, been down. I think we got maybe $40 in oats we planted. It's almost three quarters of an acre. So for the price of feed, uh, they're definitely they're definitely utilizing it. I had thought about holding back some of the feed in the morning and putting it out later just to see if they would eat more of that oats um, and, and utilize it a little better. So yeah, we'll, we'll give you an update. Uh, when this burrata hatches, um, we got 30 birds in there, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna be any better than uh, uh, the, the cozy coop, so. Here are our American breasts. If you pause it, I'm sure you'll count 22 in there. We just moved them into a little bigger area. We had them here. This is a chicken coop, so this is where we keep our chickens all throughout the winter. Um, so normally this whole thing is being used up. We got a little fenced in area that we might make a little bigger. Um, and then we did run some electric to it, which I don't know, very rudimentary, but it works. We got, uh, we got heat and then we can keep the water heated, but, uh, you can actually see their legs are starting to turn blue. No, and I look at that. I think they're two weeks old. Yeah. Yeah, that guy in front, his legs are blue. His are turning blue. And some of these guys are still a little yellow. Let's take a picture of that.